Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the previous video, we got our fourth and final party member, his name is Pooh from the land of Dalam, and we went into the Summers Museum, who told us to go to the Foresight Museum, and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We've been to the Foresight Museum before just as a group of two people, that was me and Jeff, but now, of course, we are a full team of four. Gotta pay $20 to go inside and find this academic researcher. He gave the curator from the Summers Museum a call saying he found something super wild, and we must come and see it. So we're here on his behalf. Let's see what this guy's got. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. You know, there's a new stringer named Venus at the top of the theater. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. Alright. You want a show? You want, you're going to get a show. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to the top of the theater, and we're going to be getting that autograph. Here we go. We know the top of the theater. We actually bailed out the Runaway 5 again from the top of the theater. So now we're going to go see a different singer. Her name is Venus. Just down here. I'm going to go in here to go purchase the tickets. Uh, yes, I want to buy tickets. $30. Yep. Okay. And here we are. My ticket's ready. I think Paula probably has them. Yeah. Oh, also, um, off camera, I grabbed the town map back, so now we can look at the town map. And also, I stocked up Jeff on big bottle rockets. So he has a full inventory of the large bottle rockets. That might be helpful at some point in the game. Hello, lady. Okay, don't forget, life is money. I live that life. You can buy everything but love, friendship, and EXP points. Well, heck. I think there's a way to buy experience, but... It's probably not legitimate. Oh, and the show is starting. Oh, baby, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. It's baby, sing to me, sing to me, Venus. Baby, Venus, just sing and I can die a happy man, baby. I want to hold you tight. Venus, baby. Boo hoo hoo hoo. Venus, sob sob. All right. People are crying for Venus. Let's hear the show. And that was the Venus show. It seemed a little long, or at least longer than the Runaway 5 shows were. Anyway, there are a bunch of these weird people here. They're all not saying anything. Quiet! What do you have to say? Get over here. I'm going to talk to you. Alright, I'll talk to you through here then. Alright. Hey, I need an autograph. Ah, uh -huh, you're a friend of the Runaway 5. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Fill in the other fans so you enter. Ah, uh, yes, our Runaway 5 friendship will help us get in here. Venus! 
Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. Thanks, ma'am. I do appreciate the sign banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Oh my lord, Ness just got a kiss from Venus. Don't let anyone see Ness. Run away, run away, run away. We're gonna go wash it off in the bathroom now. I imagine Venus to be someone like Dolly Parton. I don't know, that's just the world I created with what I've been given. I feel like she would be like Dolly Parton. I don't know why though. Anyway, now that we have that signed banana peel, we can go back into the museum, which means we have to pay another $20. So we had to pay $20 to get into the museum, $30 to get into the top of the theater, and then 20 to get back in. So that is definitely not the best thing. Let me let me think. Let me see. They definitely don't allow this, but yeah, it's locked. Dang, okay. I was going to say, it would have been cool if we could have just, um, you know, snuck around back, but whatever. I'll pay the $20 again. All right, come on. We got to go $20 to get in here to see the fake dinosaurs and show this man what he wants to see. Hey, guess what I got? Signed banana. You got it! That banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph? Yep, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise, I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out yourself. A strange glowing orb, you say? And a very large rat? How mysterious, and hello enemy, how are you doing today? Can't wait to fight enemies, what do we have here? Stinky Ghost and Cohort. Bash. Um. Um. Prey. Spy. PSI. Freeze. I guess. Hmm. Hopefully it's, I don't know. Hey, max that HPs. I don't need that right now. Okay, Stinky Ghost is vulnerable to fire, but I probably- Oh, you're kidding me! You are kidding me! Mortal damage to Poo? Really? Oh my god, PSI, life up, Poo. Just spam, just spam, just spam, just spam. No! Oh my god. That's just unfortunate. That just means I have to leave and then pay another $20. That is so unfortunate. Alright, I guess I'll be back when I'm got my characters revived. That's great. I just wish it didn't have to be like this. <sighs> and now I'm $20 poorer, but I am indeed here. Hello, rat. Good to see you again. Here's how this encounter is going to go. Okay, I'm going to bash you. Paula, you're going to go ahead and... Uh, just light freeze him. You're gonna spy, and you're also gonna light freeze, I guess. Cause see, the thing is, he has no psychic points and no melee damage, which is just awful. And he's vulnerable to fire. See, okay, so a lot of fire here. Stop! 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 Please, please, game, please, please, game, please. Thank you. No, no, no. Okay, this was dumb. I should have, I should have healed him. 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 Okay. Oh. Jeez, see, sometimes I just don't think I'm fast enough with the menuing of healing, and I don't want to risk it. Okay, so, anyway, now that I can take a, a second to breathe, what we can do is actually make our way into the water, because in the water, there are no enemies. So we can just very, very slowly trudge through the water, avoiding all the enemies, until we get to the end. Of course, there we're going to be missing some rooms and stuff, but um, we will be able to come back after we clear this area out and go into all these rooms without any enemies trying to attack us and ruin our day see that trash can guy he, he's gonna he's gonna be scared of us he's gonna fear us as opposed to us fearing him Let's just keep making our way in and over kind of slow going here through all this sewer and it's gross to think about but it is what must be done to protect the good of the world right Ness and Paula and Jeff and Pooh are here to protect the world, not their clothes from smelling bad. And that is why we are swimming through the sewer. You know, it's not something to be proud of, but it is something we must do. Must do it. Alright, so, it's kind of boring just moving through the sewers, of course, but, it's as I said, it just has to be done. I think we should be coming up on the end pretty soon here. Um, I'm trying to figure out which is the last ladder we're going to get up on. It's not this one, so it might be the next one then. Obviously, you can't climb up anywhere. 
Let's see. There should be... Okay, maybe one more ladder right here. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try and off-screen the roach. I don't think it'll work. Did it work? Oh my gosh, it did. That's cool. All right. This is at your sanctuary location. Surprised? I'm not. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Oh, we dare. Last time we got first try, this time I would like to get first try. Okay, I'm gonna assume he's weak to fire, but I'm gonna confirm that with Jeff, and then we'll do... I don't know, we'll try thunder, I guess. Why not, yeah? Uh, let's see, fire? Probably not really fire. Um, yeah, not really weak to anything. So, oh, thank you for hitting Nass. I do appreciate that. Hit, please. Hit. Hit. Okay, he sucks. Um, go ahead and go for freeze gamma then, and we will do a big bottle ro Nope, what did I select? Big bottle rockets, and we'll do... What else do you have? Oh, you have life up too. That's interesting. Uh, should we shield? Let's shield. Yeah, why don't we do that? Put up a shield on us. I don't know if it'll do anything, but it's worth a try. Oh, solidify? Heck yeah. And that's a lot of damage. And Ness is going to hit for some damage as well. Get a shield across all of us. There we go. Shield of light. Everyone's body is protected by a shield of light. Hopefully that'll do something. Bash. And we'll go for another freeze of Omega. That's a freeze gamma. And then... Yeah, we'll throw out another bottle rocket. That'll work. And then we'll do a freeze beta. And honestly, if we keep that up, we're doing some pretty massive damage. So... Took a bite with poisonous fangs. Oh... Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. That was fun. Fun, fun time, Jeff. You're, you're, yeah. Sorry, dude. Um, I could, oh my gosh, he survived with one? This man is a champion. That is insane. Okay, yes. Get, enjoy the biggest life up you're ever going to receive, Jeff. That is incredibly survived with a single health, no poison. I'm impressed. And for that, you get to fire off another bottle rocket. Congratulations. And we're going to go ahead and shield Jeff. There we are. Okay. There we go. We should be able to keep him alive a little while longer. Never mind. That's game. So, that's that. Boom. Second first try. That's incredible. Ness leveled up to level 42. Paul level 35. And Pooh 23. Probably 24 as well. Maybe even 25? Question mark. Maybe even 25. Oh, he got Brain Shock Alpha and he did get 25. Okay. And 26 as well. Okay, so he's making his way up. Perfect. Let's climb out of here. Let's get out of these sewers. I'm done in these. This is Magnet Hill. We might have been able to see it from before. The town of Foresight is uh, just kind of around, so that's neat. Oh. Oh, I, I did the glitch on accident. That's not good. You can sneak around Magnet Hill and grab that item box and then never technically claim Magnet Hill as your spot. So that's not good. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's sound still recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Let's open this present box first. There's a carrot key inside. Paula will take that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now done five out of the eight Your Sanctuary locations. We are definitely beginning to come down to the wire here a little bit. Why don't we go ahead and take a listen to what the soundstone sounds like now? Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. As you can see, the song is becoming rather complete. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Share this series with your friends if you are inclined to do so. I will see you guys back here next time for another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. But until then, take care.